Hey, Bass family, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Gretsch G2220 Junior Jet Short Scale Bass. So, first thing you're probably uh, looking at here is this green finish. This is called Torino Green. It's a poly finish and other colors that it's available in. So besides this green, you can also get it in Sunburst in what they call a walnut stain, which is like a dark red, or you can get it in black. Um, so, you know, not a satin finish on the neck, it's a gloss finish, hope you can see that there. Uh, the base streets for $2.99, it's made in China. Um, you can also see that on the back, along with a little sticker that says, don't throw it away. I don't actually know why they bother to put that sticker on. I mean, who's gonna throw away an instrument? Um, let's talk about this some more. So we've got maple neck, walnut fingerboard. So using walnut as an alternative to rosewood, I think it works pretty well. I mean, it sounds warm. <laughs> Feels pretty smooth, has the color, I like it. Nice and sweet up top. Yeah, pretty cool. The body is made of basswood. Uh, I don't know if that's basswood or basswood, uh, how it's pronounced. Does it rhyme with, uh, you know, basswood, it rhymes with your face, basswood, it rhymes with let me know how I'm supposed to pronounce it in the comments below, and I'll go with that. It's a short scale bass with a 30.3 inch scale length, and you have a one and nine sixteenths nut, so just a smidge wider than, say, the one and a half inch uh, jazz bass nut. Yeah. We've got two mini humbuckers, a volume knob, a tone knob, and a three-way pickup selector. Actually, it's kind of funny. This pickup selector is a little bit squeaky. Let me see if I can capture that. So, shoehorned that in at an awkward spot, but we're gonna keep moving on. I can edit and move things around. We're gonna start with the volume and tone full up, the uh, pickup selector on the neck pickup, and let's check out what that sounds like. on both pickups, same thing. Let's take it down to the bridge pickup and see what that sounds like. There's definitely a, despite that short scale, um, when you get on that rear pickup, there's, there's a lot of definition there. Actually, if you stay on the rear pickup and let's, let's take the tone knob down. Let's, if you listen to this tone knob, most of that work happens in kind of the last half to third of the roll. I don't particularly care for it all the way off, but about two thirds of the way off. It, it reminds me a lot of that Journey song, uh, Who's Crying Now? You remember that song? Let's check out a few more of the tones here. I'm gonna go back on the neck pickup. Uh, we've got the volume rolled down. This is cool for kind of a, a palm muted thumb. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty much anything you can do thumb muted on this bass is gonna sound neat. Um, you know, putting it on both pickups, uh, bringing in a pick and keeping the thumb mood muted, it works really well for like, a, you know.
I'm actually really into this bass as a pick bass, whether or not you mute it, um, you can get a lot of the uh, like, old Joe Jackson. Let's get the tone back up. Check it out, pick with the tone up on the neck pickup. And you've got a little bit of a, uh, you know. So anyway, these are some of the tones that you can get out of the Gretsch G2220 for 299 bucks, super lightweight, comfy bass. It's a pretty good deal. Thanks for watching this review of the Gretsch G2220. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more videos.